guys, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review Beer Alchemy. The beer alchemy's already been mixed, I'm sorry. If you uh, watch my video of the of this beer right here, the Nickelbrook Uber Berliner Weiss, you will see, you will see the alchemy at the end. So, it happened. I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm excited about this one. So what I did was I took the Berliner Weiss and I talked about how Berliner Weisses are normally, uh, um, you, you'd think I'm high right now, but I don't. I don't do that. Um, you you take you take the Berliner Weiss, and you normally would add. Uh, I really got to pee. That's my problem. Why I'm jumping from foot to foot. And you add a Woodruff syrup to it. Now Woodruff syrup, kind of like corn syrup, kind of like simple syrup, kind of like uh, maple syrup. Uh, so you take the simple syrup and you would add it to the Berliner Weiss because that cuts the sourness. The sourness is no longer there. So what I did because I didn't want. It. To do that. I don't have maple syrup down here, but I have one better than maple syrup. See, this is 3.8% alcohol. That's not enough alcohol percentage for a guy with Irish descent, right? Whose parents are right from the island. Not big enough ABV at all. So what did I do? I pulled out my bottle of Coeur de Bois. Now, Coeur de Bois is the best, the best maple whiskey I've ever had. It tastes just like maple syrup. It's beautiful Quebec whiskey with a Grade A Quebec maple syrup. We did a blind taste test of this uh, with this, Sort of Liège, uh, Crown Maple, and Tap 357. I actually think those are all on my shelf back here. Not that you guys care, but I'm just going to show them up anyway if they're, if they're available here. So Sort of Liège, Tap 357. Uh, where's the Crown Maple? Nobody's drank Crown Maple. Where, why can't I? Did Christy's dad finish my crown maple? Why wouldn't he? He finished everything else on this fucking shelf. What are you? You're just regular crown oil. You're crown black. Um, yeah, it's uh, gone. Oh, wait. It's not gone. But a lot of it is. Uh, a lot of it, considering that all we did it with it was our review. So we we did a blind taste test with that Crown Maple, Tap Three Fifty Seven Maple, and Sort of Liège. Well, this is McClellan's. What the fuck am I doing? Well, I must have put it down here. I did too because somebody, somebody almost finished it on me. Sort of Liège maple. Um, so we did our blind taste test with those, and this was unanimously picked number one, which is funny because Timothy swears by Timothy the Honey Monster swore by Sort of Liège, and he still picked this over Sort of Liège in the blind taste test. So we mixed this. I put about three shots in it. Here it is. And now, now it's beautiful. You get a beautiful maple taste. You get a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sourness still in there. But the maple cuts the sour. The maple whiskey also somehow cut the uh, carbonation. It's no longer as carbonated as it was. Because you would drink it. And the carbonation would attack you all the way down to your stomach. Now you drink it and you're like, hey, I just drank a cool beer. Probably looking at a... Uh, an 8 or 10% alcohol beer now too, which is awesome as well. But it's just beautiful. Beautiful maple syrup flavoring, beautiful, beautiful tartness, beautiful wheat taste, beautiful beer as a mixture. The Uber and the Sort of Liège, uh, not the, fuck! The Uber and the Coeur de Bois from a uh, Domaine Pinnacle in Quebec. Fucking 9 out of 10 easily. It's the greatest mix ever and it's better than Woodruff syrup because it adds alcohol. So thank you guys for watching the Amer- uh, the Amer- What the fuck? All I can think about is drinking and pissing right now, that's all. I'm- I'm- I- I need to piss. Bye guys.